Hey guys, welcome back. We are still RS building and it's still Boba Fett this time around. So if you remember last time we put the eyelets in the vest, this time we're going to show what we attach to the back of the armour to make those eyelets work. So we have a plain ABS piece of armour and we need to make it work with the vest. So I'm going to show you this piece of armour, how it works, how they interact together and that's the wife and how it attaches to the vest. So we need some fittings on the back which are going to pass through the eyelets in this case and on the screen you suit they were nylon screws so we are using these nylon screws um, but basically what we what we need to do is we need to secure a threaded rod on the back of the armor and then put a screw on the back of it like so there we go and that's it we're just going to put a screw on each of these points and that it's as simple it's as simple as that it is as simple as that it's as simple as that it's really that simple so we need to go from this to this how are we going to do it well i'm going to use these So let's have a quick run through what we've got. We have, we have a nylon screw, which is passing through two discs of ABS, and then the head has been sanded down so that it's flat, okay? Reason why there's two. The first disc of ABS is roughly the same size as the head of the screw. The second disc is roughly the same size hole as the main shaft of the screw. So we've got Basically, this is trapping the head. And it's as simple as that. So as you can appreciate, when that gets attached to the armor, we end up with this shaft bonded and held secure to the armor. And that is literally all we want. Okay, so let's get on with it. So the first thing I'm gonna actually do at this point is just remove, because the screws are a bit long, I'm gonna remove some of that excess. And I'll just take the shears, cut it off. Luckily I had three Weetabix for breakfast, so I'm feeling really strong. Right, I'm just gonna chop these off. So one thing I will just say, I got a message or a comment was left on the YouTube when they were saying something about the tutorials not being in depth enough and <clears throat> I think maybe we're missing the point because the tutorials are to me are a lot more about the technique of how this is done not me saying measure down here five centimeters and that way five cent that's not, it's about the technique because the way these are put together you you can't do it like that. You need to learn the technique and then you need to appreciate what you're doing and then you'll be fine. If you need someone to hold your hand and tell you all the different measurements and width cover strips and all that kind of stuff, you're not gonna achieve the look that is required, in my opinion. So this is techniques, we're technique based. I'm showing you how to do this particular technique, then you go away and you make it work with your outfit. Piece best. I hope that makes sense. That's where we're coming from. Technique, technique, technique. Okay, rant over. Let's get back to this. So as you can see, I'm positioning these pieces in the vest. Now, when we were putting the holes in there, I did say we still had a little room to maneuver, which is true. And I'll explain a little bit of that as we get to that point. Well, I've just got this last one in. So when these are through the vest, basically you've got the the thickness of that nut, that plastic nut that we screwed on there, between the vest and the flight suit that's underneath, just in case you were wondering about that. Okay, so here's our piece of armour. So as you can see, this is the, the scope of movement we've got. Okay. So we could go there, or in fact we are going to go there because that looks about right. Something like so. 
and pleased with that. That's starting to look pretty good. I like that. Looks about even. Gaps are about the same. There you go. That's it. So we could move it up there. We could move it further away. We're not going to. We're going to go there. So it looks a mirror image of this one. Kind of. Okay. All the, all the points are covered. That's what we're looking for. So how do we fix these to this? I use no nonsense. Mitre fast bond adhesive. This is basically super glue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a small amount. I'm not gonna put any on because it's all gunked up. I'll just, uh, I'll just correct that. So I'm putting a little super glue on here. Now this is quite a thick one because that's the way she likes it. It's quite a viscous one because uh, you don't want it running all over the vest and making a mess. That's probably the worst case scenario now is that a big glob of super glue goes on the vest. In fact the worst case scenario would be a big blob of super glue goes on the vest and it's not hidden by the armour. That, that's the worst case. You really want to avoid that. If that happens, you didn't do a good job. Right, I'm just going to put some, uh, in fact, another little tip for you. So I'm just going to use a little abrasive paper in the rough areas where my um, my pieces are going to bond to the armour, just to give it something to key to and to try and encourage the super glue to run off onto the vest so that we have that mistake. So get prepared, don't do what I've done. Prep this up before you put the glue on. This is one of them tasks where if you make a mess of it, you can always take a step back and redo what you've just done. It's not the end of the world. It may take a bit of work, it may take a bit of time, and it may be unwanted, but it's possible. It's very possible. Right, okay, so that's bonded on. Now you may be thinking, that doesn't look very secure, and I'd probably agree with you. So I'm not finished there. I'm going to remove this piece and then we're at the final stage, then we're nearly done. So this operation has now married our plastic screws and our eyelets and our armour all into one position that looks pleasing to the eye on the vest. That's what we've achieved, that's what we wanted to achieve. Now. The final piece of the puzzle, I'm going to take the plastic weld. I don't know if you ever use this, but it's basically, I'm not really going to pour it out, you might be able to see it in there. It's, it looks like water, it doesn't smell like water. It smells like very solventy, because it's a solvent. And I'm just going to paint it around the um, screw head and the ABS and the plastic weld is going to use capillary action, go underneath and it's going to bond that whole thing together. That's how we do it. So I would repeat this round the whole armour and in true Blue Peter style, here's one we made earlier. So you can see the plastic weld is, is um, around the pieces and these things are bonded like something bonded really well to a piece of Boba Fett armour. They're not going anywhere. Now, when I said before, if you messed up the, the super glue stage, there is a going back from that. From this, not really. You could quite easily damage the armor. I mean, there's a, there's a, it's salvageable even at this point, but you really want to make sure it's right before you put the plastic weld on. That would be my advice. Okay, and that's it. So if you remember, we stuck, um, we had eyelets all over the vest and we have gone through that procedure all the way around. I've got five nuts to put on this piece of armour. So 
that is, is the armor now mounted. Um, the back piece, let me remove this. So this obviously has no, no fittings. It just attaches to the top of the shoulder armor or the collar. Oh my God, it's destroying the place. And that's what it looks like when it's uh, finished. Inside and outside. Put this back in just for the final shot. And that's it. So just to recap, just in case we didn't we didn't say it, we've got three in the collar armour, which is free here and attaches to the back. And then we've got five on these two, five on this one, two on this, and two on the shoulders. And that's it. That is attaching or mating the armour and the vest for Boba Fett. Thanks for watching. And next time, who knows what we'll be making. Maybe Boba Fett, maybe not. Please come back and see. Until then. <laughs>